Welcome to the Adventures of Prince Ivan. I will be going through this to give my thoughts, comments, and criticism. So, one thing I want to get straight before I start this is I don't play a whole lot of Rimplay games, nor have I used the engine, unlike RPG Maker games, I've used almost all of the RPG Maker engines. So if I don't point out every single critique that a normal user of this engine would, I am very sorry. On the second paragraph of this sheet right here, there are probably too many spaces between these words. The Tsar definitely puts a lot of trust in his guards. Why wouldn't he do that in the first place? This dialogue box right here is a little redundant when the next dialogue box already tells us how he feels by the fact that it's an exclamation point in his face and the fact that it's a magical bird stealing gold apples from him. Too much of a space between maternal grandma. This is somewhat of an awkward run-on sentence. There's an extra space right here. It's kind of odd how Ivan's bow isn't showing, yet his quiver is. The background is a little bit over the top, like... I don't know, I think you could have did a little bit better with the filters. I, I'm not a fan of this background compared to the others. It might be because the background itself is really detailed, that the filter is kind of weird about it, but I don't know. Well, thy younger brother, comma, Ivan, probably. But uh, I'm trying to figure out if the Wilds die is appropriate because it seems as though they're using normal modern day English at the moment, most of the characters. So that kind of comes out of nowhere. But I don't know. That's probably nitpicky. I know a lot of this is nitpicky. Most of the review will be at the end of the video. Extra spaces. I should note that I'm enjoying this story so far. Another extra space. Alright, we are at our first decision. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Who rides east shall live, though his allies die. Or the other way around. Or we well or we shall know hunger and cold. Choices, choices, choices. Okay, well there are definitely multiple endings, so I'm going to assume this is a major branching path. I'm going to save. What I want to do is try all of them. Unless I somehow, some way, get bored of the story, which might happen, but right now I'm enjoying it, so who knows? Okay, so I'm gonna choose this because I'm curious. I don't want any of the characters to die. Right now, I actually enjoy the character development and the chemistry between these two characters, so I want to see how it continues. I'm actually kind of surprised you would give me a choice to kill off one of the characters if that's actually if that would actually happen, of course. Kind of interesting. I mean, it is quite early into the story. I'm actually kind of disappointed that we didn't get to see the interior of the egg hut. And if you don't know what I was talking about, it's this. Well, this is interesting. Okay, which one should I choose? I know this is stupid, but... Eh. I guess I'll choose it for the sake of curiosity. Would you really say that? When trying to kill a man, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, uh, I, I wouldn't say that when I'm attempting murder. <sighs> Don't you have, like, a dagger or a bow? Huh. Oh, that could be a lot worse. What? You already tried that. Why would you do it again if you lost? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. He's not even acknowledging the fact that he already tried it. Okay, so basically this choice right here is an infinite loop. So we have to choose one of these. Okay, well, you're a lot more, a lot smarter than I've been, so give it a try. Stop being a bitch. Really? Well, that's kind of lame. Well, that's kind of blunt. I'm glad you brought that up, because we're starting to question our main character a little bit. I just noticed Great Grey Wolf. The F in Wolf is cut off a bit. This dog doesn't really look that threatening. Oh. 
Also, this picture looks kind of silly. In the sense that it's attacking my dog, but it looks like it's about to start licking it, you know what I mean? You know, I know it's a horse, but you would think Prince Ivan would be a little bit more emotional. Actually, I sort of take back what I said when I said the dog looked a little bit too silly. I mean, uh, I think it, look, it should look a little bit more threatening when it's taking away his horse. But, yeah, so far it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's definitely drawn well. The the H in however is actually kind of weird. Uh, I mean, I actually really like the fonts, but the H's are kind of awkward. It looks like a stuttering L slash I, but whatever, it's not a huge issue, of course. And we have more choices. Well, this looks fun. It's kind of weird how these guys are having a conversation in a palace they snuck into. If they get caught, they could die. And more choices. I know this is going to bring misfortune because the wolf told me in one of the last conversations, but I... I don't know. I guess I'll choose this for the sake of it. But first I will say, if hopefully I'll have enough save spots to get all of the choices on there. We'll say. Okay, so that is one ending out of the way. Basically, well I'm not going to spoil the entire ending, but yeah, you already know the choices I made for it if you are watching the video for that reason. I'm going to try some of the other endings out because I am legitimately curious. Though I did think this game was going to be longer. I played I played The Visitor, which was actually quite a long game. I remember playing that for like 4 or 5 hours. This is actually pretty short in comparison, but I digress. Let's go look at the other endings. Probably going to be a lot longer since I still have 3 more to go. And a lot of choices. Okay, time to choose Take the Cage. I like how the wolf's head bobs downwards every once in a while. Nice effect. There's a whole lot of variety in the sprites. I mean, I know, uh, I know the amount of detail you put in the clothes is actually quite high, but I would like to see a little bit more variety in the skin tones. And uh, this guy looks like an exact copy of the of what's his name's father. I mean, you could have changed the beard up a bit or something. Then again, I guess since he is his uncle, it can be justified. Eh, whatever you choose, I guess. I mean, the other characters do have a good amount of variety in their clothing, at least. Though I, I do see that most of them share the same template, but I'll excuse that. Actually, now I realize it was probably a very early ending that I got. That's probably what happened, because it looks like I'm on like an entirely new adventure right here. Ah, oh, very nice lampshade hate right there. Did the wolf cast a spell on Princess's horse to make it run faster? Because if that's not the case, how did she keep up with him? Of course, I might be missing parts of the dialogue, though. I, I don't I don't think they justified that yet. More choices. I'm going to choose this one, of course. And we got a choice similar to the other one. We're starting to see a pattern here. Hopefully it doesn't do this again and again and again and again and again. But I don't know. Okay, so... I use this one now. I'm going to assume this will give me the same ending, but I'm curious. I, I mean, this one, of course. This one. Like the bird. Mainly, I'm, I'm actually doing that mainly because I, I read one quick thing that this game is meant to be played where you're supposed to choose the stupid answers first, or the stupid choices first, to progress the story or to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm purposefully not doing that just to see what else I can find. It's actually kind of interesting, I guess. And I like how she lampshades this like the prince did with the bird. Yep, it takes me back to the same ending I got before. Okay, so we're gonna snatch the bridle, I guess. It is in character, I guess. A lot of the dialogue is sort of copy and pasted. I'm not too sure if that's stylized, but it is a little bit redundant. I mean, eh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, the dialogue is starting to repeat itself a little bit too much here. I, again, if it is a, if it is a style that you're trying to go for, if it is part of the retelling of the story that you're using, okay, but yeah. Oh, extra space. Extra space. Wow, that is definitely a beautiful dress right there. Very nice render. Didn't you already tell the princess that? It's kind of weird how Baba Yaga would go out of her way to travel this far just to ask someone to do something for her. I mean, don't don't the main characters find that a little weird? I, I know it, I know 
her house can fly pretty fast, but it's a little odd. You use this picture in one of your other games. I just thought I would mention that. It's also kind of weird how that window is looking outside. I mean, if I guess because the house is, goes into like some type of portal, maybe that could make sense. I would think it would not show up as like an actual window, but eh, I don't know. That's oddly specific. Alright, now we go to the maze game. I saw this in one of the screenshots, so this would be interesting. For some reason, I can't press the left arrow key to choose that left arrow on the screen. That's a little odd. But this look works perfectly fine, apparently. A little awkward, but... Wait, wait. Huh. Yeah, actually, never mind. I shouldn't use the arrow keys, I just used the mouse. My fault. I also really like the sound effects when you move around. Also reminds me of the sound effects from the bird, those were also pretty good. Alright, here is the last one. Okay, so my major problem with this, well it's not a major problem, but it's a thing that I don't like. What? Did I just go in there? Anyway, the directions right here, it's a little bit confusing to look at the map, think, okay, so I should go one direction. Then I press that direction that takes me in a different direction because my character is facing one way while the map is always fixed on a certain on a certain uh, dimension. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, yeah, it's just a little confusing, a little hard to get used to. Fortunately, it doesn't really take that much effort to get most of these dolls without using the map, but for the sake of not relying completely on trial and error, I would have to recommend using the map all the time and just like mapping it out. Maybe that would be a little bit faster than what I did. But I didn't really take that long, about 10 minutes, 5 minutes? Uh, about 10 minutes. Okay, so I just need to get the hell out of here. Okay, that shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, talk about it. I mean, there hasn't been a choice event in a while now. But I've definitely enjoyed this story still. Very fun read. Oh, sweet Jesus. Wait, that doesn't make very much sense. She... The prince told the Tsar that she was a woman. She still has her hat on. She didn't take the hat off. So, does that mean he's gay? Uh, is that a plot hole? I think that's a plot hole. Creepiest Tsar ever. This is kind of funny. What? That... I, I think the princess is supposed to be talking, not Ivan. Okay, we have choices, finally. And I just noticed I have all these extra slave slots. Awesome. Oh, I don't want to quit. Unfortunately, I don't know who's talking when this is up. Uh, sure. Kind of odd how I'm controlling uh, Princess Eliana now. But, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright, this looks interesting. Okay, I guess I should wish it back to its original form, because that looks interesting. Though I know it would probably be kind of stupid for me not to, which is what I should do. Yeah, whatever. Try to play by this game's logic is not how I'm going to do it. I just want to wish to thank guys back to his normal form because I'm curious what he looks like. Oh, hey. Wasn't he supposed to look like a. Yeah, whatever. You little bitch. Actually, now that I think about it, that might have been the wrong choice. And by wrong choice, I mean right choice. So this should be an extra ending. And another choice. Well, uh, I'm surprised you even gave me this choice, honestly. But, okay. Well, this is a rather pretty room right here. Oh, what? That came out of nowhere, three-headed dragon. Though I, I guess it could make sense. <laughs> Lol. Alright, two more endings to go. Okay, let's see what happens when we refuse the call. Prince Tiberius' dagger disappears when he stages his pose. Watch his- watch it. There we go. His dagger disappeared and then reappeared. That doesn't actually make that much sense. If he was sleeping- okay, let's say he woke up. Why would you want to kill him e either way? I mean, you make it sound like you intentionally did it. Yeah, maybe you could. Maybe if you killed him in self-defense, okay. But why not just knock him out and take everything? What is what is he going to do about it? Seriously, is he going to kill you in, in, in is he going to kill you in your sleep? 
You, your siblings. What the fuck? Oh well, not a real problem. I. That's kind of fucked up. Like, so you're you're oh you're perfectly content with cutting your brother's body into fifty bitsy pieces and scattering around a forest. Okay. Then again, that could be justified in the fact that this family might all be so complete sociopaths. I mean, that it is that way with Ivan. At least. I'm starting to wonder what the penalties are for resurrecting somebody. I mean, Babiaga told the princess not to resurrect people, or at least I remember her doing that. So, what's the what's the problem with that? I might have a bad memory and forget what she said, but yeah, it's a thing. Wait. So did he? Did he forget? Did he lose his memory or not? Because he lost his memory in the last ending. Why did he lose his memory in the last ending but not lose his memory here? Or did his memory get jolted when he saw Ru Wolf run? Eh, I don't know. I still question that. Oh, that can actually be explained. Because she didn't find all of all of the prints, he forgot his memory, or at least something of that sort. I, I guess that could I guess I could fix the plot. You so racist. Holy crap. Alright, one more ending to go. Let's see what happens when I refuse to call. Okay, more choice. Going to refuse. Oh, interesting. Now that I have the doll with me, I can I got more choices. Okay, well, time to save again. Let's see what's up. Whoa, is that your sleeping clothes, or do you get resurrected with certain outfits? That's kind of odd. I still like it though, even though it's a little over the top and gaudy. Plot twist. Holy shit. Now that I think about it, maybe the fact that you don't want to resurrect somebody because resurrecting somebody is changing their memory or something like that. And Baba Yaga can avoid that by casting other spells. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I'll I hunt down. Typo. Alright, this was a pretty crappy ending for the main character. Ah, uh, got screwed over. But he does get to rule, so he really isn't that bad. Yeah, more or less. Is that the, is that the last ending? Yep, it is. So what are the other, all the other choices? I guess they're just extra bra branches for some dialogue. I'm gonna check those out no matter what, though. Okay, and the last choices, these. Every other choice I tried, though I will say that I was rushing through the dialogue a little bit because some of it was a bit redundant since I already wrote most of it, but whatever, not a huge issue. Okay, so who should die first? Uh, let's, go. let's see what happens. Not very realistic for a character to act like this when someone is being brutally murdered in front of her, but whatever. The story isn't that serious, so I can't really complain about it. Okay, so I think I'm done with the game so far. So let's give a quarter, so, kind of sort of review. I, I'm not going to post this as a review because I don't think I have enough to really dissect, mostly because of my inexperience with visual novel games. But hopefully this video was useful. Anyway, what can I say about it at, the, at this point? Well, I definitely enjoyed the storyline. It was a little bit silly at certain points. I mean, one thing I don't really care for is the fact that death is so cheap, but at the same time, I guess it can be hand-waved because, because it, it moves the story along at a nice pace and uh, definitely doesn't slow down as much. There's not that much filler in the in the ratings so, uh, from what I've seen. I, I wasn't really that bored while reading anything. I mean, uh, when I was looking at all the different decisions, trying to figure out if I could find anything new about it, I kind of got bored and I started going through the dialogue really fast. But that was because a lot of it was unnecessary. I was complete. I was going through the story at a at the intended pace, I guess. But yes, I I definitely like this game to a certain extent. The choice is pretty good, and uh, it was definitely a fun a fun experience. I played about four five hours of it. Definitely took a lot longer to record everything properly, but uh, that's not a problem. So let me think about this for a little bit more, and then I'll probably conclude some stuff. Okay, and uh, obviously I should mention that the art is uh, amazing. I know, uh, I know one thing that kind of bugs me is I, I really can't tell 
what you created yourself. I mean, I know there are certain things like the wolf. I know, I know you, I, you probably drew the wolf entirely by hand. You didn't use any stock photos or anything. But I'm trying to figure out like, what is stock? What is, uh, what did you use and edit? Like, trying to figure out the inner workings of how you made everything is kind of interesting. I mean, some of it was a little bit weird, like like to the point where I, I feel as though you just put a filter through it and that's it. I think it could have did a little bit better in some of them. I'm mostly talking about the background locations, not really the characters. The characters were all alright. I mean, I, I, I like variety of my skin toads, but this is all taking place in Russia, so I can't really complain that much. There are a lot of clones, though. I mean, you use a template, you use a single template for a lot of the characters, and that was quite noticeable. But that's not a huge issue. The fact that the game, the game is still very pretty to look at, and I really enjoyed that. Anyway, I don't know if I can really rate this, so I probably won't because it's not in my expertise. But I definitely like this game, and uh, I, I hope more people start playing this type of game. I know it's kind of a since this community is mostly centered around RPG Maker games. And I, I don't... I'm not too sure how much the creator contributes to this site. So... I, I can't really be cer certain about how that affects uh, her popularity, but... Uh, I, I definitely like how this game is, and I hope it does get a few more downloads than it already has, a few more subscribers. I know there is another game that I didn't play that's uploaded on this site. I'll try to look into it, but I can't make any promises if I'll actually redo it. Slash CC's feedback it. But we'll see. I'll keep it in mind at least. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. I hope the creator uh, had some fun listening to me ramble about her game. And, uh, yeah, first video on this site. Hopefully we can, hopefully I can make a whole lot more in the future and, uh, continue to help people to a certain extent. Or by help, I mean, uh, get in the way, I don't even know. Anyways, I'm going to the video before I ramble myself into a hole like I normally do. Goodbye, good luck, have a nice day.